All right, here it goes. Uh, this is a this is the grey teleporter we saw from the exit. It is not the one we saw on the other side of the thing. I jumped over there. I ran around there. There was invincibility around there. We're running out of invincibility. Here. Let's go. Okay, so that took us to here. There's a berserk here. It was not a secret level. That's okay. Um, but we now have the yellow door. That's strange. So, <clears throat> the correct thing to do is just go up there. It's not what I did. <laughs> I thought it might be a secret level. It was not a secret level. This is where we left off in the last episode. We're pressing the button. It wasn't a trap. Uh, that was less of a cliffhanger than I anticipated, although we did find at least the one of the apparently two secrets. I did also in that uh, unrecorded episode went to the various things that I knew were there but missed. For example, the... Uh, like I forgot, basically. And and it didn't help that I got trapped in a hole. Um, the area where there was a fairly wide open room with a few lifts, there was indeed, as you've probably mentioned in the comments by now, but I'm recording these back to back, um, I forgot to get the armor. There was a, a fairly obvious teleport, although it didn't look like a teleport. It was just a... What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Did you see that? Um... Fairly obvious patch on the ground, which looked like a teleporter to me, and it was a teleporter to me. Um, I forgot to take it. We got traps. I went through it all again, that's why I had some armor, slightly better off. But you know, this isn't um, it's an XP based game, it's not like I min-maxed it. I don't have more consumables now, not, uh, not to a significant extent. I remember this level well, because this is one of the levels that inspired some of the levels that I made when I was, you know, amateurishly doing so. So, I've definitely played the previous level before, so I'm not quite sure how I uh, didn't particularly recognise it. But there you go. Let's, um, let's deal with a cacodemon from a distance in the uh, common way that we know how. Follow protocol. There we go. Most of those hit. There's some invisible bastards down here. This was harder to do when you couldn't see them, of course. I mean, not in the invisible way. I'm in the looking up and down way. Cool. Let's not take an entire health pack just for 1% health. That's not necessarily uh, common common good practice. So we've ended up here, which is a strange place to end up after pulling a switch. The fact that the there was one episode that looked like you just jumped into the abyss to end it makes it a little bit upsetting that there are still episodes where you... Uh, episodes in maps where you pull a switch and then you end up somewhere completely irrelevant to having pulled a switch. So I guess we're going to have to go down here. This is a little bit of a guaranteed damage thing I expect. Um, and I'm slightly concerned that the noises we can hear are demons that don't fit through the door. So do you want to go in that one or that one? The one over there kind of looks like a dead... Oh no it doesn't. I see. I see. Oh there's the steps as well. Oh hello. Do you want to explain where the heck you came from considering you don't fit through anything? There's definitely stairs there, so we're not allowed to use them yet. Um, I think we were going to, if we're going to have to fight anything, we're going to have to do it fast. So let's get some decent DPS out. But let's put this on. There we go. Okay, it wasn't too bad after all that. I think we can afford to do this as well. That's fine. That was a very lucky dodge. Oh, I don't remember this. I remember this level in principle, but I do not remember this layout of it. This is crazy, I love it. There's no um no radiation shield over here, so I picked the right direction. For sure. Don't really want to pick that up, but we might as well Might as well do. Yeah, you can fight amongst yourselves for a while. If I do some damage to the cacodemons. That gives the other things some opportunity to... Ooh, close. To uh, finish them off for me, whereas... If I wait for them, then there's going to be cacodemons left at the end of it all. Oh, there's one right now. So we need to not be here, because we have run out of... Radiation printing. Ah! Died. Okay, good. Uh, I'd like to be in there, but I cannot be in there. That's what she said. Well, that's what I said to her. 
She said you cannot be... No, no, no. Just, just don't belabor a joke that is not that funny in the first place. Do you know what? That's what she said was never funny. However, it is such a long-standing not funny thing that its funniness is... It's like a, a by proxy joke. You've heard the joke about the uh, the mathematicians who... Actually, I think Lawrence in the comments is the one who told me this joke in the first place, so he'll definitely know it. Um, this is a bad situation, by the way. Uh, you... There's a joke about mathematicians who are telling jokes, and they keep hearing the same jokes over and over again. So they go, why do we keep telling these same jokes over and over again? There we go. Or at least they're a little bit safer. Um, and they start giving them numbers. You know, instead of uh, repeating the whole joke and everyone goes, oh, get on with it. They just say the number of the joke and then they look it up in their internal cache of jokes, their index, and then they laugh at it. And they go, oh, wait, number 72, ha ha ha, good one, haven't heard that in ages. Uh, and there's one mathematician comes along and goes, you know, 57. And everyone bursts out laughing and he goes, oh, I haven't heard that one before. Brilliant joke. How do we get out of here, please? There we go. Just randomly press at things. That is a bit of a scum tactic for a uh, game designer, if I'm being quite honest. I'm not a fan of it. No! <laughs> it's even worse. Um, anyway, point is... I've forgotten. Why did I start telling the joke about... Yeah, it's like the... That's what the Your Mum jokes are, right? You've heard it all before. It's not funny. But you might as well just say, I'm making a Your Mum joke. And, and you can get all the humour you could possibly have got out of the Your Mama joke. Which I believe is the uh, official name for them. Uh, without actually having to tell the Your Mama joke. Of course, there's never going to be a Your Mama joke for a that's what she said joke that you haven't heard before. It's implausible at best. But this is not fun because I'd like this thing to die. Where are you? Are you in that little gap there that I've been previously assuming contains nothing? Where did that come from? Where did it come from? Or where did it go? There's definitely an, a fake wall there. Seen this? Let's put this rocket in here like this. Yeah. Yeah. In your face. Right. You're going to have to chain gun this bugger, which is annoying because I'm running low on bullets for said chain gun. And this would be way more difficult if I didn't know how to strafe and mouse look. A lot of things I'm noticing are a lot more difficult in the original version of this game than they are right now. I'm not going to try that because I'm not quite sure about the hitbox of these, um, yeah, brilliant, of these plasma thingies. What was that? God. <laughs> Fire, 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 fire! Okay, fine. You die too? I'm liking the lighting effects though. They're pretty slow. Am I supposed to do that? Maybe. I want to kill these things before I go in there. I guess I don't really know why actually. That's a blue switch. Is it a switch? Yeah. Didn't know that there were coloured switches. I guess I did. I'd like to get that HP as well if it's all the same to you. Um, we can get in! Do I have to do something to earn passage here? Get out of it. How have you... I need a blue key to even have the opportunity to get in here, which is where the yellow key is. I don't know how to get to the blue key. I'm wondering if different sides of that teleporter do different things, so I'm not really going to want to risk jumping off to find out, you know? It's pretty scary down there. I can't stand on this, which means I can't jump across there, which is what I was thinking of doing. Nothing else seems to open. This is not a good place to be. Basically. Hello. Whoa! Kind of the other reason I wanted to get rid of these before anything else happens. Is that they're just going to be shooting at me from a distance. I've got 69% health, which is more than 42%. 
I guess we just try a different angle of this teleporter and hope for the best. Maybe they go to the size that they're pointing at, right? Yeah, they did seem to at least... That seems to at least have had something to do with it. Don't know whether that's strictly what happened. This is a very complex level for... Uh, what I was about to disparagingly call such old game design, but really, I just mean... Like, compared to the levels so far, you'd be forgiven for thinking that they had a, an upper limit on level complexity. Oh, God. Bada boom, bada bing! That was very lucky. Kill them all! <laughs> wow. This is not good. And another level where... Excuse me? Another level where um, simply overwhelming numbers... Whoops. Are the main problem. And the fact that I got shot multiple times at the beginning of the level by an enemy that I should not have even missed once. Let alone been hit by. We should know what we're doing. We should um, endeavour to revisit those edge places differently from the way we did this time. I mean, there's a certain thing about um, all games, I guess, not just video games. Which is that if you have to restart for some reason, if you're given the opportunity to reload, you're then going in with knowledge that your character would not have had the first time it showed up, you know? I mean, canonically, you're supposed to be this hero, right, who beats all the odds, but most heroes don't reload. <laughs> and therefore, it's hard to really consider yourself heroic by any measure if the whole reason that you have succeeded in the first place is that you went in knowing what was coming. I believe that's called save scumming. Like if Superman save scummed, it would look like he could do all these amazing things, right? But in fact, he would just know what was coming and he'd never be in a position to actually make a mistake. He's going to let everything stop shooting at each other. Let's fire down here for a while. Is everything dead, dead up there? You got everything for me? So that is in there. I would have... Honestly, I would have said that a cacodemon couldn't fit down there. I guess it can. Is cacodemon a natural type of demon? I mean, are these names that id have invented? Or are these names that we can sort of use from, from a wider cultural lore? I know the word demon and the word imp. Even the word sergeant I've heard of before. I uh, am fairly sure that I killed you. But apparently I was three shots off, so... Okay. Everything is taking more shots than it should do. So we know we want to go this way. We can probably get away with just using this. But this time we won't go across the other side. I should probably go up there and get that. Out. Again, this happens <laughs> remarkably often and I'm not a particular fan of it. How do we get that? Maybe that is the actual only way to go. And the more I dither, the less... Oh, I found the blue key. The more I dither over there, the less likely I'm going to be able to actually get down there before my radiation suit runs out, which is not what I want. Because that's keeping me alive right now. Okay, let's get back down here. At least that meant it had more value this time. I might have to jump down here. That, um... Sergeant was very lucky to have beaten the odds against that BFG and then successfully shoot me in the face as a result. Scumbag. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to open this and go on this side of it first. See where it takes us. Okay. I mean, that's kind of nicer. At least we can... Excuse me, with your fucking bullshit good shot. I don't mind an imp having perfect aim because, Christ, look how far away they are. I should have plenty of time to dodge them bastards. I can hear all these noises that are not pleasing me. So now... Let's 
So five in each of these? Yeah, so I can actually pick all of those up and still have space for more. Um, the difficult part now is I want to be over there and it's going to hurt. Don't know if I necessarily want to be right over there again because we know what's over there. We have we are forewarned and therefore we've got four arms or something. I just fired just to see what happened. Turns out there's things over there. Let's do this. Still kind of tempted to send a... Wow! A BFG shot in there. Please. Whew. So again, we've not done too well because of surprises. Even though we've already done this fucking bit. There shouldn't be any surprises. That was um, amazing place, if I say so myself. I think this is the right time to be using the chain gun, even though we're running out of the ammunition for it pretty quickly. Simply because it's chewing through the enemies. Uh, and kind of preventing them from attacking us. We basically have to take this level slowly, as far as I can tell. I'm not even thinking about saving ammo. Just going to kill the shit out of everything I see. Why are you still not dead? Oh, there's two of you. Okay. Fair enough. Can't grumble about there being more than one of you. Right, this is the point where we get the BFG out. Lots of things are fighting amongst themselves right now. That's okay. They're allowed. In fact, I prefer that. Not sure what I can hear. That probably wasn't worth it. But you know, it is what it is. Oh, yes. I remember then. Let's uh, put a rocket in here. Let's have another one, just in case. Right. Now, mildly concerned. Holy shit. <laughs> now might be the time to use the VFG. Oh god, they're teleporting. It's the neutrinos. They're evolving. Honestly, this level is as confusing as it is difficult right now. Because I'm both confused and difficult. I don't want to save it at any point, because then I'm just going to end up reloading with 12% fucking HP. It's not going to be any good for anybody. Right. There's no HP around anywhere. I can't open these, and I can't open those. If I go over there, I need a blue key. If I go over there, I end up stuck on that. The only other option is that the fourth side of this, I haven't tried yet, takes me somewhere helpful, but... Kind of hard to credit that, because nothing else has worked that way so far. Notice that my bullets don't teleport. Uh, id. What are you doing? Well, I have 12% health. Yeah, not going to manage it. It's been a long episode, so I think what I might do is try and get somewhere. We'll see how long it takes me, uh, and then I'll come back. Remember to cut this episode to shreds. Um, and we'll see where we are when we've done all of this. Uh, if I can figure out what to do next, I will certainly report back to you. Uh, but I suspect that this is going to be one of those really annoyingly long episodes where I have to do the same thing over and over again. So, provided I remember... I'm going to put a cut in here, and if I don't remember, there will be a period of silence while I relax and calm down, because this is highly stressful. I'll see you soon. Bada bing bada bing! You'll forgive me for save scumming. <laughs> he says, about to save it on the save scum thing. Um, it turns out, as predicted, that the... Th fourth side of that took us up there where the chain gun was which allowed us to get the blue key i've done that twice now because i died again i'm waiting for this cacodemon to come back but i suspect it's not going to so i'm just going to press this button yeah that's what we expected that to do now the question is what do we expect everything else to do oh hello so we've got the yellow key now now we need to find the yellow switch oh shit it's supposed to go through there Tremendous. Holy crap, there's two of them. At least two of them. 170. Fine. There are two of them. 
And that could be an invisible wall marked by weird fire things. So we'll go through there. Oh. It's not an invisible wall. I mean, it's a visible wall. In fact, I meant a, a, a secret wall. In fact, it wasn't. But we're still fairly okay here. This will be where we were being shot at before. From. This is okay. I'm okay with this. Let me back here. Right, I don't want to go through there in case it closes and I have to do all that shit again just to get back to it. This is here. Very well. Then this is here. Okie dokie. We now have a yellow key. The problem is... I don't know what to do with it. Well, I think the first thing we do is we use the fact that we found another radiation suit to come over here. We didn't need it to stand here, of course, but we may have wanted it to... That was dumb, because that was not the side I wanted to be on. I was going to say we may have wanted it to get onto the uh, correct side of this, but of course, we didn't do that. We'll take some damage. Just deal with it. It's going to be one of those levels that whittles you down, which it has done several times over, hence why you will forgive me for save scumming. Now, I have not yet dealt with anything in this area. I decided that basically this level appears to be one that requires you to... You know, just... Do it in the right order, basically. What? Didn't ask your opinion. Alright, sweet. We'll take that. What's that? More than zero? Do appreciate a little bit of the uh, ability to kill enemies here. Now that's open. Right, so I'm guessing that the blue button removed that obstacle just as it removed several others. Now we will be able to do this because it works. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Now. I heard something teleport. Over there, in fact. Fair enough. There are other things over here that will attack me. Yeah, just like that. Shouldn't have really done that necessarily. I can see a BFG. So when we get the red bits down, we will go into there. Meanwhile, I'm going to be lucky to survive this particular bit. Because I'm a sitting target. Sitting duck. Quack, quack. So now we need to get that. Oh, heck. I can see you. Let's get rid of that guy first. I've been making judicious use of rockets, which is not a great idea because you find yourself teleported into close quarters for something and you still have to deal with the fact that you're using rockets. Uh, we don't have a red key yet. Okay. I mean, I'll just pump rockets into this thing too, if that's what it takes. Not that they're uh, necessarily landing. I have more than enough available to me on this level. Right. Before we run out of this thing, come back up here. Oh, that didn't help. We have a yellow... Key. Ah, yellow door. Press that. Get back out here. Thank it for the time of day. And I guess we'll be over here now. Very well. All right, good. Um, we could go and get those. I think we'll do that when we know how we stand later on. The level is being very stingy on the old HP department. I feel okay about ammo, though, because we've fought a lot of sergeants, so we have been keeping our uh, shotgun shells up. And have, there have been a few shotgun shell drops. Shotgun is basically the uh, way they want you to play this level, which is why I'm reluctant to actually do so. So there's the BFG again. So this is going to be a bad thing to get. Yeah, there we go. What's... Oh, Jesus. I remember this. <laughs> I do remember this. Where is it? Pretty sure it's out there. Pretty sure there's no way past it either. Just have to beat it. I may save scum again. Ah, right, okay. At least we got some of the peripherals down. I mean, the cac the cacodemon, the cyberdemon is not that difficult at the end of the day. Uh, you just have to be careful not to be in splash range when it fires a rocket at you. I'll be here why there's so many rockets right here. So basically, we want to use this. Avoid getting hit by the rocket. This wall behind us is really not helping. 
I mean, we could use the BFG, which does have the benefit of capping out at 800 damage, which could be enough to do... Oh, we haven't got enough cells for it. That's actually a problem. Fudge. I'm going to stop playing this game for now, because it is <laughs> getting to me. Um... Thank you for watching this episode, even though I still haven't finished it. Obviously, we saved Scummed halfway through it, so at the start of the next episode, we will continue from where we left off. Remember about the Cyber Demon, possibly try to ignore it, or at least not fight it from that position. It wasn't necessarily the smartest of all ideas that I've had. But, yep, thank you for watching this episode. Remember, do the likey, subscribe thing. We do appreciate that, and go and check out James's videos, and when Ed starts uploading, he will have some videos too. In fact, he might have uploaded one by the time you see this. So, I'm trying to predict the future at from your perspective of the past. It sounds weird. I'm just going to go. See you later.